Hello, everyone. The rigid body has no distance change between any two points in the body under any circumstances. We do not have such a body in this world. Rigid bodies are used in vehicle dynamic simulation when stiffness is relatively higher than the other bodies or when the part is not subjected to high force. As fidelity of vehicle CA simulations advances, more flex bodies are incorporated into vehicle dynamics model. ANSYS Motion offers two flex body representations. In this slide, only the model superposition approach is addressed. Structural deformation in the model superposition approach is represented by a linear sum of weighted mode shapes. Thus, it has fundamentally a linear assumption. The approach cannot handle nonlinear problems such as plastic deformation and geometric nonlinear representation for stabilizer bars. I have discussed this topic with a few vehicle OEMs who currently do not use FlexBody much. They are also interested in FlexBody modeling for vehicle body, chassis, and suspension structure. In their organization, FE models are not available in a timely manner to incorporate in the vehicle dynamics models. This required leadership support and organizational collaborations to improve the communication and data readiness in vehicle engineering groups. Common issues to build a flexible vehicle body from a trimmed body is a mass discrepancy. Vehicle dynamics model faithfully incorporating details still need quite a few kilograms to balance the curb mass. By definition, a trimmed body does not include at least 17 or 18 gallons of fuel, which is about 50 kg. It is not unusual to see mass discrepancy of more than 100 kg. The mass discrepancy should be distributed properly, not affecting the vehicle CG location. It is also important to note that the mass should not be attached to acceleration sensitive location for potential mass damper effect. Modern vehicles have many control systems. They are steering EPS, chassis control, brake control, and engine drive unit control, just name a few that are associated with the vehicle dynamics. More and more control systems are being incorporated into the vehicle system for driver assistance and autonomous driving. Vehicle dynamics model should be able to comprehend such control system to improve vehicle performance. Control calibration mostly begin with an appearance of vehicle hardware. In vehicle development process, design changes can hardly happen once tools are kicked off. The only option to resolve performance issues after tool kickoff is calibration of control system, whether it is possible or not. The introduction of control system in vehicle dynamic simulation gives better understanding of physics in all the VDP. The performance improvement idea can be more easily developed early to compromise between hardware and control calibration.